Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr here today for Spellbinders with the June 2019 Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month. This kit is called Radiant Flower. This is the June kit. Beautiful flowers, leaves, even a stem. I'm not using the stem for my card today. And I'm going to combine this with some other Glimmer Hot Foil plates to really make a complete glimmered card. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely addicted to hot foiling all of the things. It's such an elegant, beautiful look. I've got a piece of just regular copy printer paper here um, from my printer. It's really thin, so it's going to allow me to kind of have, I call it a cheat sheet. It's going to help me know exactly where I want to foil my sentiment. We're going to start with the base of our card. So this is trimmed to A2 sized, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I've laid that on my Glimmer platform. I've also taken the Hey Beautiful Glimmer Hot Foil Plate, the word beautiful from that set. I've laid it out and I haven't quite done it yet. I was playing around with it a little bit. I really think if you need precision where you are placing your Glimmer Hot Foil plates, a little pencil line will so help. So I'm really tracing this whole thing. I actually um, measured up about one and a quarter inches from the bottom of my panel and I drew that pencil line there. And then I'm taking my pencil and I'm also just kind of quickly tracing around the word beautiful so that I know exactly where I want that to go. It's going to help so it doesn't shift. It's also going to help me, allow me to know exactly where to place that when I put this all together and put my sandwich together. So I've got my printer paper, the Glimmer Hot Foil plate, the hot foil with the uh, non-shiny or non fun side up is what I call it. And then our cardstock, which we're using the Fun Stampers Journey Cool Pool cardstock. We're going to hit that ready light and let that heat up. And when the Glimmer Hot Foil system is all heated, we can remove this from the docking station and run it very slowly through our Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine. And I just gently run that through, usually a couple times to get the transfer really great. I will tell you, as I'm putting together the rest of this card, I found rolling it back and forth kind of might shift it at times. Um, it didn't with the word. So the word was beautiful, worked out super great. I would not suggest doing it um, for some of the flowers because I found that they kind of smudged, um, almost like you're stamping and you move the acrylic block or something. So it just didn't work great for that. But we'll talk about that when we get to the flowers. So again, I'm tracing around this other little phrase. We're going to layer our phrases. One of the things I love most about the Glimmer system is you can glimmer over um, what you've previously glimmered. So I added hello there. Now this is actually from the February Everyday Sentiment set that I believe is no longer available, but there is an Everyday Sentiments collection of phrases that is just in their the regular store available. It's a glimmer plate. And you could mix and match some of those greetings to add with a scripty one. I'm a big fan of more of a typeset type of greeting with a scripty greeting. So this together says, hello there, beautiful. I traced around it just like I did for the first one and then ran it through. Now, when you're going to be die cutting the glimmered pieces, it isn't quite as important to make sure they're lined up. And I like to try to glimmer as many at one time as possible. So I am taking the flowers from the Radiant Flower June Kit of the Month, the Glimmer Kit of the Month, and I'm placing the different elements on my Glimmer Hot Foil System plate, and I'm going to hit the ready light. Now, you probably saw me using some of the pink foil. In the kit for this month, a roll of pink foil comes, and I tried everything in my power to use the pink foil. It is gorgeous, but... I wasn't feeling it today, I guess. I'm going to save it for another project. I ended up doing something a little different. I'm going to use matte silver, which I should have mentioned. I use matte silver for the sentiments. I'm using matte silver and silver foil from my stash for my card. And I'm going to do everything in matte silver and silver. So leaves, 
are all going to, and the center of the flowers are matte silver, and the flowers are all going to be the shiny silver. And I love the combination of the two foils together. We're going to layer those together. Now, with the June kit, you're getting the coordinating dies, which I think is awesome. We can die cut all of these elements, layer them together, which is what I'm going to do for my card to create these beautiful little um, collages of flowers around my sentiment. If there is any overfoiling, I tried really hard not to have too much overfoiling. You can take a sand eraser and just kind of gently erase away that overfoiling area. And then, of course, just die cut all of those beautiful elements. I am foiling everything, not on white cardstock, but on Fun Stamper's Journey Tin Pale cardstock, which is a super light gray. Love this color of cardstock, one of my favorites. I've also left, you can see in the upper right corner of the screen, lots of additional flowers that I foiled in either different foil colors or on different colors of cardstock, saving all of those for additional cards later on. Um, I, try, I was playing around with it, trying out different combinations just to see what I liked. When you are die cutting the coordinating pieces, so you can see me lining up the dies here and taping them in place, be really careful not to place the tape over the foiled image. The, the post-it tape can kind of lift up, or even washi tape, whatever you're using, can lift up some of the foiling, and you don't want that. This is the Love Stripes Fun Stampers Journey Embossing Folder. One of my most favorite embossing folders ever. I'm a huge fan of diagonal stripes, whether it's a background stamp or an embossing folder or pattern paper. I love diagonal stripes. So I started with an A2 sized panel for my card, but we're actually going to trim that way down. But I like to start bigger and then trim it down to size. This is going to ensure that you can trim it down. I find that when you're hot foiling, starting with a bigger piece of paper than what you actually need is often very advantageous so that you're not, you know, maybe running out of room or anything like that. And I kind of kept trimming this down, trying to figure out exactly how I want it. I want my cool pool border to be along the bottom edge, and then I'm going to divide that from the embossed little strip, and you could trim that down so you could save the rest of the embossed for another card if you want to. Um, but I'm going to use some of the Fun Stampers Journey washi tape, and this is a gorgeous silver, so it's going to match the foiling really nice. It's part of the reason I chose to use this. But it's going to divide the cool pool border from the embossed border with this just little teeny tiny silver stripe. And I'm going to play around and try to get this as straight as possible. You can also see I've got lots of flowers on my work surface. Um, the flowers from the Glimmer of the Month the leaves from the Glimmer of the Month, and then there are some additional pieces. So there's a, some additional little silver leaves. This is some specialty paper from Fun Stamper's Journey in silver, and then the little white flowers. And even our white background, I do want to mention, this is the Fun Stamper's Journey whipped cream cardstock. It's their white cardstock, lovely, beautiful white. And what we're going to do is combine these little flowers and die cut leaves with our glimmered and die cut flowers and leaves. And these little flowers and the little, little silver leaves that I'm gonna be adding to my project are from the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for June. I love combining the club kits every month. And those little flowers, all, any little flowers, always get a good workout for me because they're just very versatile and go with so many things. And for this card, I really feel like it just kind of fills in all those little gaps and really adds a ton of interest. Now my other favorite thing to do is to adhere some of the elements with foam adhesive. So some of the flowers are going to be attached with foam adhesive, some are going to be glued directly to the background. And we want to start building that collage in the upper right corner of the cool pool background around our sentiment with our two main flowers. And there's actually going to be three of these foiled flowers up here, but two of them are going to be popped up and one is just going to be kind of tucked, which you'll see here in a second. So, But we want to start with the focal point, so it's this large flower and then one of the smaller ones. 
And then we've got some little leaves and we're going to use liquid glue to tuck these down underneath. So I've not pressed the foam adhesive down super hard yet because I want to be able to kind of play and lift that up and tuck different elements around this grouping. So there is how that looks. I'm a big fan too. If you're dividing up your background with this border and then we've got the little thin washi strip and then the embossed strip, I like when it overlaps that. It doesn't all have to stay just within that cool pool strip. I think it adds a lot more interest if you do it this way. I'm adding the center of my flowers with foam adhesive as well. So lots of dimension on this, but with a very elegant, this is an elegant design. I think it adds lots of interest by having all of these different layers and different heights with all the little pieces. And I'm tucking in that little silver leaf. I think it really complements the foiled leaves beautifully. And then I did put a little grouping down below with another flower, but I trimmed off a lot of that. And that just grounds the card really nicely. You can see that I've got all of my foiled flowers in place and then the silver die cut leaves from the large kit of the month are also in place now too. But we've got all of these little white flowers. I'm gonna just group them all together real quick and I'm gonna flip over my Spellbinders mat to the side that has more of the uh, foam. And I'm gonna switch my tool in one to a stylus tip and then simply just take my little die cut flowers and run that stylus tip in the center. It's going to give our flowers a little bit more uh, movement. It will curl up the flower petals a little bit and then we're going to layer these whipped cream die cut flowers in place. Now I'm not going to worry about the flower centers. You can see it does die cut flower centers, but I'm going to do something different. Um, I didn't want to do white on white anyway and I decided not to die cut these from like a silver cardstock, which I definitely could have. I'll take Nuvo Crystal Drops here when I'm done and go ahead and add that to the center. But I wanna make sure that I have plenty of little layered white flowers. And I think this just instantly adds so much interest to the card and fills in those floral arrangements beautifully. I think this would make a fantastic wedding card by switching out the sentiments. A, an anniversary card, birthday card, sympathy card, anything. You can switch out the sentiments very easily and make this card work for so many different occasions, which is what is so fantastic about florals. There's so many ways to use them. So don't be limited by, um, you know, one occasion or another. These can be used over and over. Things that can be used so many times are always some of my very favorite product because I don't want to be limited by just one certain um, event or occasion with my crafting. I'm going to add some of these litter, littler groupings of flowers. I love how this looks. Also, if you do not have glimmer plates for the sentiment, go ahead and stamp and emboss in silver. It'll give you a very similar look and you can use some sentiments maybe that you already have in stamps. I'm adding those silver linings, Nuvo Crystal Drops, not only to the center of the white flowers, but we're gonna add a few just here and there around. Kinda helps soften it, fills it in, adds interest. Let that sit and completely dry. We can add this panel to a white side fold card base and our card featuring the June 2019 Glimmer Kit of the Month for Spellbinders is all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Glimmer of the Month card featuring the June kit called Radiant Flower. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders Club Kits that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.